In this video, we talk about x-rays in medicine. To make a radiograph or an x-ray photograph, an x-ray tube is directed at the patient. X-rays will pass through the patient's soft tissue, but will be absorbed by denser parts such as bones and teeth. Parts of the film that the x-rays reach will become darker. This means bones appear white and soft tissues black. This is known as a negative. To take an image of an organ consisting of soft tissue, a contrast medium can be used. This could be a meal containing barium to look at the stomach, as barium is a good absorber of x-rays. Modern x-ray machines use CCDs or charged coupled devices like those in digital cameras to capture the image. X-rays are also used to treat cancer, though the x-rays used have a shorter wavelength than those used in imaging. Why do you think this is? Now let's look at radiation dose. The radiation dose somebody receives depends on three things. The type of radiation used, the amount of time someone is exposed to it, and the energy absorbed per second by the body. Radiation dose is measured in sieverts, symbol SV. High doses can kill living cells, while low doses cause gene mutation. There is no known safe limit of radiation that does not damage living cells. So a bit about background radiation. Everyone is exposed to low levels of background radiation. This can come from a number of sources. Cosmic rays, fallout from nuclear tests, fallout from nuclear disasters, and radon gas being released from rocks in the Earth. Okay, and now it's time for a quiz. What will dense objects like bones and teeth do to x-rays? Does the film in an x-ray change to black or white when exposed to x-rays? How can images of soft organs be created using x-rays? What three things does radiation dose depend on? What are the units for radiation dose? What is considered a safe radiation dose? Give three sources of background radiation.